Uh, okay, well, one of the fun discussions to have, I'm glad we're going to talk about this today, honestly, Vinny, is is the worst team in the NFL. Because naturally, what happens every year is we, we pretty much identify through the first couple of games, not which teams are tanking, Vinny. I think that is a bit strong. But the teams where they have not, they have not assembled the proper roster to win a lot of games during the NFL season. A couple of years ago, it was the Miami Dolphins. Remember them just getting blown, you know, getting blown out. Uh, you know, Jacksonville last year, once they had Urban Meyer, they had no chance whatsoever. But this year, I think it's a little tricky to pick the worst team overall because we definitely have some good candidates. But I think the unusual part about this, Vinny, is that there are some teams that probably over the last few years that you would not even consider getting down on as the worst team in the NFL. The Atlanta Falcons, hey, they made the Super Bowl just a few years ago. Seattle, they won a Super Bowl just a few years ago. So how do you see this shaking out? I, I thought Houston played very hard at the end of, of last season for their coach. I don't know, will they do that again this year? Yeah, I mean, look at Houston. I think the schedule is much more difficult this year, and I don't know if there's – more than a couple wins on their schedule. So that's why they're the favorite here. I mean, that's the, the chalk, and it makes a lot of sense when you look game by game. And you look at the Jaguars, I think you take them out of this equation because they get to play the Texans twice, and that could help them get some wins here with uh, Doug Peterson. And I think there's some positive vibes with that team, and I think there's some better vibes with the Jets. We've talked about them a little bit here being undervalued. So I'll immediately take the Jets and Jaguars out. Uh, the Falcons are intriguing to me at uh, – plus 400, but you don't get a lot of value there in relation to the Texans. So I'm going to take you down to the bottom there with the Panthers. I mean, there's talk about is Baker Mayfield going to make this a playoff roster, but at the same time, you have Matt Rule as a heavy favorite to be the first coach fired on top of the hot seat. So for the first coach hired, that means you're going to lose a lot of games early and often, and the interim coach is going to have to take over in the best case scenario. So I think that's where the value is right there. So I'm rather going right there with the uh, Texans or Falcons right at the bottom. I think the Seahawks will scratch out some wins with Pete Carroll and the rah-rah stuff, but either go Texans, Falcons, or go all the way down to the Panthers and get that value plus 900. Yeah, no, it, it is fascinating to correlate the, the coach of the, the, I'm sorry, the coach to be fired with the worst team, because that does sort of make sense if rule indeed is there. Um, why, why do you, why are you more bullish on Seattle though? Uh, Vinny, I would ask you this. I mean, talent wise, I mean, do they even stack up with some of these other teams that are there? I, I mean, I look at their roster from top to bottom. Their defense has been, has been brutal the last couple of years. They no longer have their quarterback. And I guess my fear, Vinny, would be as if Seattle in particular got off to a bad start. They actually have some pretty decent trade chips as well. So they could trade players to me. I mean, that's one of the teams that I was looking at. Yeah, I do like Seattle. I just It's just hard maybe just in my head to say – the Seahawks, what they were, and they were consistently over 500 with Russell Wilson and that situation. I know Russell Wilson is gone, but to me, if any team is going to overachieve a little bit, Pete Carroll, maybe he's hinting that this could be it for him, maybe get some out of the defense and offense to play a little bit better in certain games, maybe down the stretch when they're out of it. So you look at also the division is very tough, and that is also a factor here with the yeah. NFC West. So I think they're right in the mix. I just think – if I'm going to trust their coaching staff to get a few wins, they probably shouldn't. I, I think I lean with Seattle more so with what I have in Houston and Atlanta. Uh, 